So that's actually one of my other questions. So okay. I've had this for years. I haven't yep. used it in a long time. I kind of went to the mallet spider. Okay. And I've also, I suck so bad I've gone to the claw, which you've noticed. Okay. Um, you know a lot of PGA Tour players a lot use of the people, claw. It doesn't yeah. even suck. No, but, you know, I've also heard, you know, it's like a last resort kind of. Right. Right. But if it works, it works, right? Right. For my, my putting stroke, which I've been told is a little wonky. Okay. Would you suggest maybe staying with the mallet, or is a blade more a little because it's more toe hang? You know, this is a little yeah, that's got a balance. little toe hang, so you can still have a little bit of an arch. That's not yeah. quite face balance. Um, not, no, remind me on uh, hit a couple putts here. Yeah, yeah. And I'll kind of hopefully guide you here. I'm also considering going back to maybe I was a low hand for a while. Left hand low, yeah. Uh, I feel like that helps me keep this. Head the club head square, yep, a little bit more. It's usually harder with distance control, though, yeah, because um, now you're using your left hand for most of the putt. And so, the, for, the, uh, for the moment, we'll just stick to what okay. I'm doing. I'll stick to the claw. <laughs> so, you got me the last time we spoke, I was a little bit more yep. in the fingers, yeah, I'm kind of more in the palm, the right line, yeah. So, we also spoke about this last time, but since they yeah, didn't yeah. see it, um. We were talking about picking an intermediate target, something a little closer to you, say like this, or yeah. just a mark to kind of start your line off on. Obviously, we have to read the part. I think it goes a little bit left. I would like to say that, but the chips okay. were going a little right, so I don't really know. Yeah, but I think that there's break here that pushes this left. Or you can back just right at the yeah, yeah, yeah. spot right yeah. there. Yep. Pretty straight, actually. Yeah. Looked like you started a little right of your target. Yeah. So I also have a tendency, and even Mr. Gowan yesterday was telling me I kind of aim, aim a little bit more right. You do. And then I kind of come across to try to compensate. Right. So I need to work that shit out. Well, I think. Yeah. <laughs> well, hit, hit a couple more before we get yeah. too deep here. Also, I have a tendency of being open a little bit, so I just kind of try to close uh -huh. up. Left hand low will help with that. So that's right where you're aimed. Um, so remember, it's not where your feet are necessarily set up. Like we were just hitting chip shots where your feet were aimed over yeah. here and you still hit shots at the So it's all putter face, your feet in any, and almost any shot should be left of your target. Because even if you're square, if feet are here, that means that club face, the line is here and you're actually right at target. If I look at this, I would say, oh, it's good on your left. This is more of your line, which is right at those two okay. So let's be here and then adjust the body back. Now we are right over this red wrap, right? Yeah, standing over it, it feels like I'm yep. 20 feet left. I mean, that you hit and your that marks. Was, that was right on it. It's okay. a dead straight spot. Yeah, so usually, so I don't remember if we did this straight spot to move with that. Mm -hmm. Whenever I hit a putt, like I'm back here with one hand and getting this on my line. Right. So my line is kind of like this. So once my putter is set, now I'm adjusting body and now I'm taking grip because now the putter face hasn't, if I'm like here right. and I have my grip already, when I turn and step in, a lot of the time you see the putter move, mm -hmm. right? So it's here, it's here, and, and it's here. Okay. Right? And then it's. So try that. I don't think you need to switch putters. Okay. You're, I mean, if you're wanting an arcing putt, you're going to have to tell yourself you're coming so far inside yeah. and then you have to release it. And well, it's not just trying. Right. It, and you're taking it pretty straight back. Good. Yeah, I think we just have a bad read on the butt. That is perfect. 
Perfect. God, that eeks just a hair <laughs> right. That's weird. I feel like even the club face is left. Maybe I just so that's, I mean, that's where golf is hard because what you think. You can see even what's Correct, because then, then you make swing changes because you think that you're in left. Yeah. You have to commit to the line. So after you're set here, so let's just move the ball closer so it's easier to get over that little grass. Yeah, it's like right here. So when I set up, and I know this is right, I'm here to make sure that the putter face doesn't move, right. and now I can look at the target. Because I now that I'm set, the line is irrelevant. The only thing that matters now that my putter is here and my grip is here is speed. You, you might have the read wrong, but if you're here and then trying to second guess your line, if you move the putter face, your stroke is still your feet. So once you are committed to this, anything you do other than speed is wrong. That is hammer. <laughs> um, but I think to, to try and break down putting a little bit is pick your line, set your line, and segment it into this is my area for, for alignment and setting up correctly. And now that I'm here, my my only thought is speed. And thinking about the stroke, I mean, how often are you standing over a driver like, okay, release my hands, make sure my weight transfers, keep my right shoulder lower. I mean, it's just, it, nothing good comes from that. So your alignment is perfect. So the only thing that matters is speed. How do you feel about a little tilt at the beginning? Uh, forward press? Yeah. I just, Something I'm always done. Like I get here and then just before I go, I just so as long as set up again. As long as your forward press doesn't go here, you see what happens yeah, to butter face. Your forward press has to go here. Right. It's, it's almost like you're you're getting here in. Feel like it's closer to your left hip than straight. Because again, what you're yes, perceived you. is left. So when you forward press, you're going to think that you need to forward press right, and now you. You change your life. Maybe just not the Well, I don't know. You know what? Always watching golf growing up, I always saw like Phil doing that really hard. So I was like, oh, well, he's doing it. He's one of the greatest in that. Yeah. Your stroke, you should, your putter has three degrees of loss. Yeah. And it should come through close to square. So the forward press is to take the three degrees of loss. If the greens are longer, you actually want to get the grass to the ball on top of the grass, so the loft is good. I, I think that's almost too much detail, but um, to create a truer roll, we should almost be taking the loft out of the corner. So the forward press is right, but you have to forward press in the... There you go. Hold that one. That's, that's a tendency. So this is the same thing with chipping where the back of your left hand is the putter face. Right. Right? When I'm here, if I'm in the life or the lifeline zone, <laughs> this mimics my putter face. Or at least very closely. So if I go here, too much release at the pole. If I get here, I'm gonna push. So it's here, that's where the forward press comes in because now it's the same kind of thing like chipping. I'm holding butter face squared. All right, what's our, what plate of grass are we on? So, I'm, I'm just, like, just inside this. Okay. I think it's a little more than just inside. So that's... So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of somewhere. Field goal. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Good. Good like putt. Good, like a good roll. Yeah. It's almost too much speed for that. Yeah. That line. But you saw the one drift. Yeah. And then that one didn't move. All speed. So this time you are left of the hole. Oh. 
right there. Right. So, I mean, you could sit there and tell yourself that wasn't a good putt, but you hit it right where you were aimed. Yeah. Like, I, I think, again, and I've harped on it you know, every time we've met, setup has more to do with the golf swing than the golf swing does. I mean, I know that's a funny thing to say. Like, you can have perfect setup and never swing the golf club before and I'm sure you miss it. Yeah. But with a general idea of a golf swing, if your setup is right, generally you're going to get where you're looking. So, how do you feel about uh, lining it up? Um, so, when I do it, whenever I get, like, when I'm looking from behind, let's just say, I think I know what you say. I mean, I'm right here. This is where I want it. When I get over it, it's no longer where I want it to be. Like, is it Kurt, is that, so standing over it? Possibly? Your, um, I don't know which eye dominant I am. <laughs> We've tried this. <laughs> I think I'm left eye dominant. But so I'm I am left eye dominant as well, and that's why I don't do that. Okay. Because when I do that, it looks like it's left. It messes with you. Yeah. Correct. So uh, try something. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> try that. Line that up again for science. So set your putter face again. That's right at the target, but for sure. That's good. Love it. Okay. Okay. Okay, now if you close your left eye and look, does it look like it's left? So now close your right eye. Does it look like it's left? Oh, it's the same. Really? Yeah, I, I fucked up. <laughs> you certainly could be both eyes equal. I'm sure that's I'm, not the case. I think I'm double negative. But like that's for me, thing. it's if I hold my finger here and I put it over the flag, and it almost looks like there's two. Yeah, yeah. And if I close my right eye, it almost doesn't move off the flag. If I close my left eye, it's like two cups left. Yeah. So I know that my left eye is dictating mostly where I'm looking. So when I get over the golf ball, my left eye is in front of the target, so it looks like it's in left. It almost feels like... If it doesn't move, then like truly your eyes could be equally... Sucky deciding what your vision is. I don't know enough about vision to know if your glasses are fucking with it or something. I don't know. But if you could figure out what eye dominant is, I would bet that you are left eye dominant and that's why it looks like it's left. Someone's gonna watch this and be like, this guy's fucking crazy. But, but that's just the same thing. Once you're over the golf ball, whether you think it's aimed left or right, we've already decided this has to right. So now it's speed and commit to one. Little handsy, little of this. I yeah, I'm. I mean, it's a lot better than it used to be. I used to be like this. Yeah, and I used to really. And that's where you want a lot of toe hang because then it's harder to get the yeah. club base and it won't over rotate. But since it's a face balance, you're trying to go call it straight back straight. Through. So cool drill. Take a grip. Feel good. So I want you to try and hit a putt without taking the putter back. You're basically just pushing the ball towards the hole. And hold your pitch. Okay, so that, I, I should have looked at where you were lined up, <laughs> but that's the finish that you should feel. Like, obviously not that long from this short of a butt. So that, do you see where that ball rolled over the grass? It was right here. That is exactly where you're looking. So it has nothing to do with your quote-unquote follow-through, I think it's set up and I think it's making sure you're not getting handsy and cut. Yeah, right, it's, it's here. I do think left hand low could be good because that that's where you your shoulder yeah. to go here. Yeah, because I easier. definitely feel like before I make a putt, I have to... Yeah, your left hand this. being lower is going to it's generally square up your shoulder. Yeah. It's a little, I mean, that's what we said, it's harder with peak control, right? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Oh, good putt. Good putt a little bit inside. If I had hit it, it might have gone. So other than setup, are there any drills I can do to try to... I think the push drill is a fantastic one. Okay. Um, 
And a gate drill? You got these on you? I do. You're not going to be able to kind of follow through and get loosey loosey with the putt. If I come through here and hit this putt, the tees are going to stop my putter. Probably going to be a little bit further. I don't know how well I line that up. But now it's here to here. You also don't want to get like, oh, I'm way, yeah. like obviously exaggerating. But that's getting you square and keeping you square at the Right? The, I also feel like I have a tendency to have a elongated action. Yep. And then this is going to make you feel like you have to have speed on the putt. Yeah. But it doesn't, it's not necessarily coming from a longer rack swing. It's coming from kind of squaring up and... Uh, that's just not lined up very well. <laughs> but it's more kind just get, force yeah. that impact? The push drill is one of my favorite drills of anything in the world. So they make a... It's two steel balls, and they put a bearing in between it. So it almost looks like a pair of glasses. And they spin independently. Hmm. So when you do the push drill, it's basically two balls like this. And if I start here and go this way, both balls should stay flat, right? Now if I do that, when the putter face opens, that one on the right is gonna roll further, ideally. Sure. And same thing if it goes flat. Now what gets really tricky is if you hit a putt and want both golf balls to stay on line. That was pretty good. You can see the one on the inside went right, yeah. so my heel came through first. Okay. Right? It's so much easier with the balls with the bearing because it will spin and they'll just spin in a circle right through. Got it. But the push drill is keeping your square or your putter square through impact. So let's say you've got three golf balls here. You're gonna go one. Two, and then hit a putt. Right? All you're doing is ingraining the follow through because that's where your face is changing. Yeah. Right? Your tendency is to close it. So if you start hitting push drills and they're all going left, you close, you close it both ends, right? But I, that's truly one of my favorites. I mean, there's drills to set up tees around the hole and three footer and go around the clock and do a three, six, nine, make three from three feet, three from six feet, three from nine feet. Right, Once right. you miss, you got to start over. Set up and push through. Even that wanted to go left. Good. So we can just push butts all the time, right? It's not illegal, right? And now an actual scrub. So again, this is all kind of what you perceive and feel and what's actually happening. Yeah. So all you're doing with pushing is ingraining the feeling that you're looking for. So then when you actually stand over a putt to actually hit a putt, you're replicating that putt. good too because if you're guiding the ball towards the hole on the push you may be ingraining the push towards the flag but your setup may not be right that was so good that's the i mean easily the best part that you did your finish was boom boom and club face stayed in completely square we got, we got something. See how you only hit the left two? Yep. And where'd the ball go? Left. 
Good. Uh. Again, we've got a minute target right in front of us, right? It's easy if you know you just got to hit it through the gate. Which fought, again, but think the, of Will Zalatoris. He's, he's, remember that guy? Remember that guy? He had the claw for all his back and he was like, <laughs> and he would make everything you looked at. The same thing with a backswing and a full swing. Who the heck cares? Look at you and Jerick swing and tell me you can't have you way outside, inside, wherever you want to do. It's all about where the club is delivered. If you do that push drill and get your club face square, what happens out here? If you'll wind up like freaking Babe Ruth and come back and square up, who cares? It, it, it's butter face square with the right speed of coaster. Not to name drop or anything, but I did meet Jim Shuriken and help him out. <laughs> I don't think he liked you that day. Yeah. He's in a bad mood. <laughs> hey, that's fine. A little aggressive. But... A little aggressive. This one's too soft. This one's too hard. We hard to do the goldie locks thing. Mm -hmm. That was still good. All right, feel better. Yeah. Something to work on. Something I think push drill is really good for you. Yeah. So you think I can stick with this guy? I wouldn't even bother with this. <laughs> I mean, it's not like Mikey makes anything anymore. Right. But... This is a collector's item. <laughs> that on <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so that is our short game, kind of finishing up what we did last time. Uh, the putting, which you didn't get to see because my phone sucks. But yeah, I think you have some good material to work with. Keep using those drills. Yep. Full swing next time. All right, sweet. Appreciate it, brother. Peace out. Mm -hmm.